I hope you like dongle dax as you're about to get a mouthful for about three days. So I've got eight dongle dax here and I'm gonna break this video apart so you can take it in little little increments. They're all in price order right now because I looked it up in wallpaper and I found the Helios, the Harmonic Dyne Helios were hidden over there and I whipped out the Acoustic Research Planars and we gotta talk at length about these Zen, uh, Duno Zen Pros at length, but not this video. We're, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna listen to all of these. Well, I'm gonna listen to all of them, break this video up, and you're gonna be able to time jump to wherever you need to go. And don't forget to check out Patreon and subscribe star because there's that, get content early, et cetera, et cetera. Um, there's some DD Hi Fi stuff. We've got, well, basically X2I Link, Acme Audio something or other, DD Hi Fi TC44A, FioK A3, Shanling UA3. Uh, Extra Link 2 Balance Edition. We finally get the Moon River, the, the Moon Drop Moon River 2. Stop. And the Earman Calabri, which is like twice the price of anything else here. So that's why that's going to be the last thing I review, probably compared against the rest of this lot. Um, we've got the old winners here. I've got the Earman Sparrow. I've got the TC44B, which was this little guy, which was amazing. Um, I also brought out the BTR5 and the Kudelix, because those can also be run in a USB DAC configuration where you just add a wire to it, and boom, it becomes a dongle DAC. But they have Bluetooth, so they don't really count as a fight. Um, you could probably do the same thing also with the Audirect, the Beam, which is like my new go to right next to the the iFi go blue um can also do that i have a couple wires here and adapters from dd hi-fi i want to talk about later on they're not sponsoring but they keep sending it to me and they're so fucking nice so i guess we'll start i'm not even going to stop this video and go back we'll start picking up the helios hitting play and raising the volume while hitting play on the link this is the 2021 edition of the 2021 edition of the link and it is 59 dollars 59 it's it's like here you're gonna compare it to the old one i did the original link if, if you go back i did the original link which was orange with an attached cable and this is gray gray blue or red with an attached cable but now they went from 32 milliwatts at 32 ohm to 80 milliwatts so it's more than twice as powerful it's got, instead of a, it's actually got a, a Cirrus Logic DAC chip, which, fuck did they come from? Haven't heard them in forever. Better signal to noise ratio, better total amount of distortion plus noise, automatic power adjustment. It actually can detect the load of your headphone and adjust between one or two volts output without you doing anything. And honestly, hi fi has got it for $59.90, and it's pretty fucking great. I'm going to plug in the IEMs to it. When I'm done with all of these, like the actual, just like getting my general gist explanation of it all, I'm going back and I'm going to do some hardcore listening with the Zen Pros and tell you how the amplifiers actually perform. But as far as like feature sets go, for $59, why wouldn't you add one of these to your, to your USB-C port? I think it's USB-C only. Um, plugged in here to the, I'm using the Dogi phone because the battery lasts literally forever. Um, I've got a bunch of flack I uploaded to, to Telegram. I'm using this adapter, which is also a DD Hi-Fi adapter because the wire I'm using is periapt. So now I need to make it 3.5. Of all the units here, this is the only one that's not balanced, which makes sense because it's the cheapest. But it's pretty amazing that the, all of these, all of them have at least a balanced plug. If they're not truly balanced, we'll try to find out by reading specs. But right now, this thing plugged into this thing, pushing a full-size set of headphones with the, the important part. It sounds fucking... I don't remember if it's because I missed these headphones. The important part of the link, the reason why I recommended it previously and I will re-recommend it now, beautiful button controls. Plugs in, you get a volume rocker and a play pause that if you double press it, next tracks. You never have to look at the phone. The phone screen could just be off and never never be looked at again. I'll say unpause it, double press, double press again. Yeah, it just, it just triple press. I don't think triple press takes you back. 
I think it only has next track. That could just be because I'm playing off of the weird Telegram player. But it's just it just runs, and it sounds fucking good. I mean, again, it's been a long while since I've had these headphones on, and they're still running the ZMF Ori Suede's, which I didn't know where they were, and now I know where they are. So, cannot... $59, I shouldn't even have to review it. If you have a USB-C... Actually, does it come with a lightning? Is there an option for lightning? Uh, nope, you have the different colors on HiFiGo, red, blue, gray, and that's it. That's it. Read more in the comments or in the the link to this. I want to know how this is going to compare. As the cheapest unit here, if this sounds this good on like a headphone like this, I want to know how it compares to everything as we go further up the price bracket because we're going to do that in a bit. So I'm going to stop this camera. I'm going to listen to those on it for a second because I haven't tried the planars yet. And then we're going to move over to the Acme. <laughs> All right, so going from the $59 link, I switched it to the planars. Um, I should have told you the volume control was actually like 25, 30% on those and nearly maximum for these on the link. Um, when I switched it, when I put it to maximum, it kind of felt like, oh, I'm pushing this too hard. I backed it down a bit. Um, switched to the Acme, which is model number is, because they don't list it, this is just called the Magic Sound 6. Where are the other five? Because this sounds significantly softer, warmer, wider than the Link. Just does. Just automatically does. Is truly balanced. Because I read the, the instruction manual. It's like, yeah, it's higher voltage and separated better. Very Chinese. Does not speak. Like the actual website is .cn. So switching this... This is now running at maximum, so it's actually not as powerful outputting them as the Link, but no fear of running it at maximum. These are a very hard to drive planar. Uh, if you're going to use this for something like an IM or a, or a dynamic, woof, this thing is this. I'm now I'm concerned that I found the best of the bunch already, and it's only seventy nine dollars. So I'm from fifty nine to seventy nine. This is also seventy nine, but it's seventy nine ninety nine. So that's a dollar more. And then we start getting into like the 100 and 100 and I think, I think you're 109. We're going to go up. We're going to go up from there. But there's no other features. Like that's the thing about this. Is, this is why I don't dongle Dax in bunches. This just plugs in with the little cable it came with, which is really a nice looking cable it came with. A little bit chonk on these connectors. But it's just an aluminum frame with a, a green LED, not blue. Reach your hands to the skies. It's not blue. Green LED that probably changes color when you change different formats. Let's see if I can just randomly shuffle the one that's like 24 bit. I highly doubt it. Tales in the Crypt. Wish you were here. Yoko Kano. Yeah, I'm not going to get any luck with that. 3PO 4.4 BLA. So you have to use. So you have a you have a massive benefit with the link already if you want to control it without turning on your screen. You can play, pause, next track, raise and lower the volume, all from the unit itself. This big dumb box, big dumb nice aluminum box, weighs nearly nothing. I think it might be the lightest one. The uh, Moon River is fucking heavy. Shandling's heavy. For competing with the Fio for lightness, I don't really count this. But it's got no controls. You plug in, good sound comes out. I mean, good sound. Like I'm glad that was first, and this is second. So now we got to move over to that. This keep this one on the radar. Zios, pin pin this one in the radar for the next time because holy shit. Also, I miss using these headphones. You can't buy them anymore. Oh, fucking so good. So, do you want your phone to look like that? and have a 4.4 Pentacon output, because if you do, you're buying the DD Hi-Fi TC44A. This thing sounds almost identical to the Acme, which sounded amazing, like smooth, creamy, wide. I swapped it on the same song with the same headphones, boop, 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 boop. And only I felt a little more detail, just a little, like a touch more of the highs were there. And then a bass note hit and I'm like, oh, that's more power, wait. And then I checked the volume control and I had like two more notches of volume over the Acme. 
I don't still want to run it at full because I feel like it's drawing. I feel like it's like, mm, is this getting sketch? So, but like one notch down, absolutely fine. And this is a quiet song, so it actually is maxed out. Yeah, it's maxed out. So I'm going to use this for the remainder of the jumping through because this is a good hard to drive set. And we'll get back to dynamics and super sensitive, fucking uber sensitive IMs when I go through the whole thing in the third video. I'm still imagining I'm doing two or three videos, probably two. I don't know. We'll see. Um, fuck yeah. <sighs> because this thing has a legacy. This is not like, oh, it's just some weird adapter that Zeo's got. If this is the the B, literally the TC44B, which I can't find anymore, this thing was the be-all, end-all of dongles. Like, the Ehrman Sparrow was super highly rated in my mind and my heart. I, the Calabria, I've listened to it for like 20 minutes. I was like, holy shit. Um, this one, though, was like, this is a donglist of dongle dax. It's a little weird motherfucker. So the fact that this is just, don't don't play this one off because it sticks to the bottom of your phone. And by the way, it does come in Lightning, so you Apple people can be like, oh, I can get it in Lightning too. In fact, there's the A, and then there's a TC44A with Lightning, TC44A USB-C, then there's the 35C, the 35B, the 28, oh, that's this thing. Um, this thing is cool. Well, how much is this? I mean, real quick, like 50 bucks. So this, uh, I'm going to keep around probably from a girl because this takes it. This is an Apple lightning for all those stupid phones that aren't USB-C yet. This side is a USB-C charging port. So you could just take your USB, you know, plug from the wall and do this. And now you can charge your Apple iPhone. And there is the OTG USB, which if I take the uh, DD Hi-Fi cable, that is... We go like this, and then we can plug this into any any device that is normal. So you could charge your iPhone and then use your OTG. It, of course, it looks like that, but I mean, 50 bucks. Zeos, don't forget to link specifically the uh, TC28i Pro. It's all aluminum, too. It's so fucking nice. Anyway, so that's that, and this is this, and holy... This is not the best phone for it because it literally has a door because it's like mil spec waterproof. So I might want to rip off the door, but it just it just sort of squeezes in there and it works and everyone wants to rule the world is playing. I'd have no problem making this like a permanent, like if I if all oh, these headphones could sound like this forever on every amp and DAC. Where's the where's the devil? Where I gotta sign the dev my soul over to make that happen. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so pause that. The Fio K3, and I didn't have like, I had like, I don't know what I was expecting from a Fio. It's not like I don't love Fio things, but I was like, hey, it's a Fio, it's a little thing, it's, it's $90, it's 89 something. Um, this has 20% more power than this, and that had 15% more power than this. So this could make you deaf. This makes those these planars fucking loud. More neutral, less of that like sweet undertone of like these two. So this was like straight up just better than a phone, not really giving me any sort of flavor, just just solid. Then these two are like, hey, hey, do you want to hear some class A USB dongle? And I'm like, yes. So you got these two, and then you pick your form factor, whether you want it to actually be a DAC that dongles or one that clips into the bottom of your phone, which may or may not interest you. Luckily, USB-C is reversible, so to pick whichever direction you want. And then we get to the FIO, which sounds more neutral. It's definitely like, a, like I'm feeling that FIO K9, like neutrality. Like clean neutral, like good neutrality, not boring neutral, just solid. Like BTR5, are we there? This is more like BTR3, but somehow more powerful. Like this thing is fucking loud. Like we. That is fucking loud. Like holy, where are you getting this from? I gotta lower that now, please. God. Um. There's nothing else to discuss as far as the unit. Comes with a really nice 
Like, I, I, as far as we going with like the wire, like look at it compared to the Acme. All right, we've got a. Be I'm gonna unplug it. That is that. Fio has done wonders for making this small. Small, like th this Acme. This is not small. It's got a fucking lightning bolt on it and shit. So this is big. And this is small. Look how much smaller it is. So that's where Fio, the giant company. There's a lightning bolt on one side. I worry which side that it is in case it needs to be the right orient. Whatever. Comes with an adapter to go uh, straight USB. In case you want to plug it into your laptop or computer. This thing's a fucking monster powerhouse. And more neutral than the, the, the competition so far. Unplug that. Hopefully this wire isn't. There is an indicator ring here. See, it says blue. It'll do blue, yellow, and green. Green is DSD. Yellow is higher than 44, which I should have some higher than 44 stuff on here. Uh, where? Only God knows. This is all going to be lower than that. That makes the volumes down. Jesus. It's so loud and clear. It's loud and clear. We get it, Theo. Loud and clear, we get it. Yeah, the bass definitely isn't as, like, punchy as it was with the DD Hi-Fi. Don't lose that. Or the Acme. And we're just overall a better... I gotta make this music stop. That's my problem. And again, they could have had buttons like that. This one's still amazing for buttons. We'll have more buttons in the next video when we start with the channeling and the eye link and the other ones. But for now, we're going to end this video and go on till tomorrow. Remember, we're trying to keep it short. It's good because you get more wallpapers. I got to give more wallpapers to the community. That's my thing. Um, come back tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to do a daily skip. I think I'm just going to do hammer, hammer, hammer. Get this stuff out of the way. So we'll compare. We've now blasted through the first, the cheapest four. And I'd say that they're at least different enough to consider what you're into. Like if you need all the power in the world, you buy the Fio. If you want warmth, you pick one of these two. These are fucking great sounding. This might be, again, it might be the winner. And uh, the, the link, if you just, the most convenient fucking thing, look how small it is. It basically can go in line with your headphone, your regular 3.5, and you wouldn't even notice it's there. And it gives you controls. So yeah, that's round one. Do we have a winner? No, we've got multiple different options. Power, warmth, and base, and convenience, and affordability. See you tomorrow for another one. Check out all the links and the, the, the Patreon, all that shit. I'll talk about it later. Goodbye.